Hello everyone, this is another episode of Fast Break TV show and today we're doing it in English because of our special guests, none other than Ignas Brazdeikis. Jidrunas, how do you feel about our special guest today? I'm feel very, very feel. I'm feel. I'm very feel. Okay, so Ignas, thank you for being with us. Welcome to the show. How are you today? I'm doing great. Uh, excited to try these new cars and take them out for a spin. It's raining, nothing new in Lithuania. As they say, Lietuva is where the rains fall. But I think another reason why is it raining because I think the skies are crying because you're leaving. Is that correct? I am leaving soon, yes. I'm leaving tomorrow. I am sad as well. In general, how were those few weeks for you here in Lithuania? How was it? It was honestly a blessing. I had a really good time. You know, this is my first time joining the national team and and you know kind of getting that experience and uh, being back in the Lithuanian culture and you know being older now you kind of understand everything a little bit differently and you have a different perspective on it so I'm just blessed uh, I had my family come out here with me so it was nice just to see everybody play in front of the home crowd play for Lietuva and in front of uh, my uh, family it was a great feeling. And I know you were driving uh, cars that were provided to you by one of our sponsors, RSV Motors. Those were the two BMWs. I know you're the fan of the brand. How did you like them? Oh, they were great. Very smooth, very powerful cars as well. You know, they got uh, they got me to my places very quickly. I would say I was never late for anything. Unfortunately, <laughs> today, going to the wrong address. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think those are uh, well-equipped cars to take it to the driving race, to do like a drag race, like speed test and all those things? Absolutely. They're probably one of the most powerful cars I've been in. You know, I don't know much about drag racing because I've never done it before, but if I had to say that there's cars to do it, it would be them. Well, I know my man Jidrunas here, he has uh, one more option for you. So Z, what do you got? Yes, uh, we have today uh, another monster car for you. This is Mercedes GT 6.3 liter and we want you to try it today okay but i'd love to try it it looks <laughs> it looks like a monster yes it's about 700 horsepower unbelievable if you compare it to the bmws that that dignas was driving so this is has more horsepower yes and then it's four wheel drive yes and then it's probably more expensive too uh yes 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 <laughs> all of the above <laughs> okay let's take it for a quick spin right and then you decide which one out of those three you're taking today to the racetrack. Okay, is that let's a do it. Good deal. Let's, let's do it. Do it. All right. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Ir mūsų vaidos žiūrovams, kaip visada, noriu trumpai papasakoti, kad mes turim mūsų vaidos vienas iš pagrindinių remėjų partnerių, tai yra RSV Motors. RSV Motors pasirūpins jūsų automobilio pardavimu visoje Europoje. Viskuo pasirūpinta nuo A iki Z. Jūs atvarot automobilį, už jūs įdeda skelbimą, už jūs atsako į skambučius, už jūs sutvarko visus formalumus ir popierius. Jūs tik ateinat, pasiemat savo pinigus ir laimingi per tuos pačius RSV Motors nusiperka tokį automobilį ir važiuoja toliau. Yeah. Pirmin. Whenever you need a car to buy or to sell, sounds good. That's where to go. So yeah, Got let's. It. What was your first car that you bought after you signed an NBA contract? Well, it's actually the same car that you got you got to see when I picked you guys up. I've had that car for a couple years now. Uh, 2017 BMW 750i. Beautiful car, very smooth. Um, that's my that's my kind of drive. I like a smooth car that you know can get get you places quickly. I'm sorry, but you're taking this turn. And my pillow here, it's it's like pushing me. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So we, they adjust for the for the turns and everything. Yes, that's high level. Wow. Okay. And so is this the car that you that you wanted? The BMW. The yeah. Yeah, I've been I've been wanting the Seven Series for a long time. My dad's first car was a BMW, so it was always kind of a goal of mine for my first car to be a be a BMW as well. Now I'm actually in the in the look out for a new car so um, kind of deciding what what i want next what are the options 
Uh, so I was, just, well, I was looking at the BMW X6M. Is I that think. a good one? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a high level <laughs> car. It's a bigger car. It's an SUV. Plus, I think the NBA Life sort of requires you to drive an SUV, isn't it? Oh, uh, you could say that. I mean, it's whatever you're comfortable in. One of my teammates, Mo Bamba, drives a little Ferrari. I am 100% a used car salesman. <laughs> It's whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you want to drive, you know. Um, but a lot of NBA players do tend to drive bigger cars. Your first year you played in New York, in uh -huh. New York um, so I think those, this is one of the fanciest cities in the world and obviously no, the no. Knicks are the celebrities of the town even though they don't win a lot these days. But anyways, so who had the best car? back in that time shoot uh, everybody on that team had beautiful cars Something there was definitely a couple right? of rolls royces you know I, there was a lamborghini urus around everybody on an nba team has a nice car though yeah. so it's difficult to always just pick out one uh with orlando though i really liked uh mark l fultz uh he had a rolls royce uh ghost i believe it was okay. and a phantom so um two those rolls royces two rolls royces so what would happen if you showed up you know to the practice with some kind of beat up volkswagen jetta or something like golf like would they give you the hard time you will yeah, be the people. ball guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah you'd be the ball boy you wouldn't be on the team but um nah they'd give you shit about it for sure but I mean, teach their own, you know, you get what you can and, and, and whatever you're comfortable in, you just rock, you know. So what, what's about your uh, driving license? It depends. Like in Canada, it's a little bit longer of a process, which is where I got my license originally. So you start by getting a G1. I think you're allowed to get that at 16. Your G1, you just do an online test and then you have to, it's certain hours between the day and you have to drive with a um, an adult in the vehicle you can't drive by yourself and then after a year or two you get what's called a g2 which allows you to drive by yourself i don't think you're allowed to drive on highways though yet with the g2 it's not fully unrestricted and then after a year of that then you're allowed to get your full g license which allows you to just drive freely so we're we're asking every guest uh, was it the first time you passed all those tests and everything or first you had time to baby do... first you did time it? Okay, i was locked it? in okay. yes sir <laughs> they weren't easy uh how to do a, a parallel park how to do rear park which okay. You know, I wasn't too bad at, but actually I almost got into an accident on my uh, exactly. my driver's test. Yeah, wow. it wasn't my fault. Wasn't I was okay. just driving at the regular speed limit and the car just kind of came out of nowhere to turn in really quickly. So I stopped as quickly as I could. And, you know, I think that even helped me pass the exam. They could see your, they your could see my, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. my driving abilities, my high level driving abilities. What was your first car? My first car was that BMW. So uh, all, all your life, BMW fan? All my life been a BMW fan. Love Mercedes, love Lamborghinis as well. But I think my dream car, like the one car that I just need to have is a Rolls Royce. And we know that you had a very long trip uh, with your car in the United States. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could tell us some, something about it? It was a good experience for me. Uh, Luckily, I had a, you know, a passenger with me, so it wasn't just me the yeah, whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're driving a car like that, like it's honestly almost like meditation and therapy. You know, you're just on the road, just enjoying, you know, that experience. So, but what kind of trip was that? From Orlando, right? From Orlando to, to Toronto. To Toronto, so that's what? 24 hours about, I believe. Then, so I had to take a day break. Yeah, okay, I mean, like so at you night, had I stopped. one night stop. We had a almost the same uh, road trip in the United States too. I mean, there was... Yeah, we drove from Washington DC to New Orleans oh, wow. because our flight got canceled. The same as for you guys a couple days ago. It got canceled and then the next flight is within two days and we're going to the All-Star game. So we can't wait two days because the All-Star game is going to be yeah. all over. Yeah. So I'm like, let's rent the car and just drive there. And then they would have to cancel the All-Star game because you guys couldn't be there. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So what's the feeling is play uh, against LeBron and yeah. others? Oh man, it's uh, it's almost surreal. You know, the first time you do it, it's like, damn, like I'm, you know, really playing against LeBron. Quickly to the open, Anthony. Oh, 
Carter down, and Bruce Dacus drives it and lays it in. You must saw that you can dunk like a monster. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I could jump. This game, now they're running and an easy two-point basket. He used to dunk back in the day. Like oh, yeah? He would win, uh, you know, these street ball dunk contests. Oh, like nice. we we had one competition where I brought a car and he jumped over the car. I'll send you the video. The guy could 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 jump back in the day. Now he jumped over all, a car. Z. Over the hood part. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, though. it was. It was. High level athlete. Yeah. Huh? Sport. Sport plus. Sport one, plus more. one more. Sport plus it up. Ooh, oh my better. god. That's fast as hell. What's the speed limit in Canada? 100 kilometers usually an hour. So you have kilometers in Canada? Yeah. Not miles anymore? Canada is right? always yeah. kilometers, metric yeah. System? Yeah, okay. metric system okay. way better. Makes way more yeah, sense. Yeah, I agree. I hate With all the... due respect to our American friends, but yes. What was the biggest star in your team you played in NBA? The like biggest a star, yeah, teammate. Uh, yeah. Probably, I would say when I played in Philly, like I, w I was only there for like two weeks, but Joel yeah. Embiid, I would say, was probably the biggest star. Is he the same? An animal. Well, yeah, I mean the player, obviously MVP runner up, yeah. but but as a as a person, as a teammate. Is he the same funny as in like social media and everything? I didn't get to know him too well, but yeah. he seemed like a great leader. You know, I, I feel like a lot of the people in the NBA, just the culture of the NBA, it's like good people, good energy around, you know, that's yeah. I think uh, very important for NBA teams to have people that, you know, come in with a positive mindset that are excited to start their day, excited to be there, excited to play basketball, you know. But before you got drafted, was there any kind of like combine where you would have to attend? Yeah. yeah, the NBA Combine, yeah. So you took part in that? Yeah. So what do, what do they do there? It's interesting. Like they I measure don't, yeah, all things? they measure pretty much everything. It's actually very similar to the movie. I know a lot of people have seen the movie Hustle. Okay. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. and they had the combine part. It was actually very similar to that. You've got a bunch of uh, players and athletes, you know, just doing a bunch of measurements, height, hand width. Yeah. Hand length, height, wingspan, and vertical, three quarters yeah. sprints, sprints and bench jump. press test. Bench uh, press, like yeah, the... yeah, yeah. They have a set uh, weight on it. I think it's one eighty five. Okay. So, and then you try to rep it out as many times. I think oh, I got. Oh, it's how many? Yeah, times yeah. How many times that? you could rep okay. it out? Yeah. Wow. So, All right. uh, we did that. A few other tests in the weight room as well. So, and then you get to do some shooting competitions and then uh, scrimmages. Okay, so you're probably wondering why we're here and quick explanation is next week in Palanga we have um, the biggest auto event in the country. And so we're visiting one of the teams who won the actual race. It's 1,000 kilometers race. Oh, yeah. Shit, that's so they a long go race, like right. what, 12 hours or something? Maybe more. Maybe even more. Yeah. So, so they they won this race in the past, and they will again be racing this year. So we we want you to see what kind of car they have nice. and look around and cool. these. Guys. Esame tris kart tūkstančio kilometrų lenktynių laimėtojų garaže ir pažiūrėsim, kokie automobilį jie paruošė šių metų tūkstančio kilometrų lenktynėms. Ir komandos vadovas mums ir Ignuja prodi savo turbūt kūrinį, jo, kaip sako, žvėrį kūrinį. Tai čia, kaip ir populiariausias BMW yra antrukas turbūt. Kaip sako, lietuviai, nu, myli šią markę už greitus ir, kaip sakant, patogius vairavimo suteikiamus įspūdžius. Nepaslaptis, kad mes ir esam šios markės fanai. Todėl renkamės būtent šios markės automobilius ir šiuo atveju yra BMW M2 modelis, kuris yra ganėtinai kompaktiškas, bet ir greitas ir su netradicinių V8 varikliu. Darbai taip ir pabaiga, kaip ir čia per daug kažko neliko, bet iš esmės 
Na, reikia, reikia, kaip sakant, laukti ir, ir va, kosmetinius visokius dar patvarkinius padaryti. Ignas klausė, koks didžiausias greitis, tarkim, jau tų lenktynių metų būna? Pagal šios trasos specifikaciją apie 2-3-5 įsuka. Mm. Wow, that's fast. That's kilometers per hour. That's fast. Yeah. It's the same like you are going to the game, yeah? Yeah, pretty much, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> depends, depends how late I am. Okay, let's show Ignas the biggest surprise that we presented for him, all right? Oh, Ready let's to... check it out. Ignas. So, Ignas, you will be one of, ah, one of, one of the drivers <laughs> of this car. I love it. That's amazing right there. <laughs> So this is high level. I'm gonna be part of the team now. Huh? Yes, sir. You know, you're the leader of the of the team in this window. So we want to transfer that, that power, energy. knowledge like that. to this car, and hopefully next week you guys are yeah. gonna take the fourth title. Yes, let's do it. Nusiteikia tikrai puikiai, kaip sakant, esame laimingi būdami čia, kaip ir kiekvienais metais, nes lenktynės tikrai didelis nuotykis ir ruošiamės ne vieną dieną ir, ir netgi ne savaitę, tai susiruošus geram nuotykai, tai reiktų ir kaip sakant, jo pasimėgauti. Tai kuris vairuotas pirmas pradėtų? Tai būtent aš. O kada į aikštą išleisite Igna? Manau, po trečios valandos. Va čia atimate, keturios yra pavardės. Tai Ignas turi nebėgti apie trečią. Ką, dar kartas Ignės? Klausim finišę. Skaugimo Ignės. Tai jūs jau šimtą, jau. nes taip stabdį pasiekė, ne, opa. Tai, 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 tai jūs atsiminėme, wow. tam sakėm, 120, tai no, no, no. 120, čia jau, kai Vytautas Mikaitis, šimto dar nebuvo pasiekęs ten, kuris dabar. Į keturias tilpo sekundės? Privalėjo. 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 Okay. Dabar laukiam atsiskutančią, bet mačiau, kad ir pačiam stresą buvo, nu, 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 iš ar... rovė stipriai, jo. How was it? That was fast I as thought you... I didn't even touch 100 either. I stopped at 95. So you think it's not... We don't have time? No, we don't have... Oh, come on! At 95, I stopped. I was like, no. fuck that. <laughs> I was not going more. We like need 95. to redo it, man. Yeah, we we don't have fun. official we time. Okay, but yeah, but now again. you're better. Yeah, yeah, now okay, you feel the car. Yeah, All yeah. right, so you're good to go. Okay, right, we'll run it back. take number two. Let's do it. Nu, turbūt pasiekė, ne? Šimta tam kokį. A, ne? Ok. Fū. Šį kartį jau tikrai užtikėjau. Kaip startas, bet čia taip, jūs tai užtikėjo, ne? Kažkas tai. Tai gerai, į keturias tilpo. Trys gal bus kažkiek, ne? Jo, šlatą, sakykim, trys su kažkiek. Bet audinės nepadėjo, ne? Ne, ne. Jo, jo. Nu, bet svarbu į keturias, kad tilptų, tai aš manau, bus įspūdingas. Į keturias privalgas. Net geromis sąlygomis jisai turi važiuoti apie tris. Nu, dabar šlatą viskas, nusakykim, Did you have it? Yeah, I got it. All I right. got it. I got it to like 110. What, I think. what do we have? What 3. time? 3.6. 3.6? Yes. That's not bad, huh? That's <laughs> yeah, good. You that's got that's the good. second best. Actually, Solid. it's the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the rain, too, it's not it's easy. It started exactly, to spin out a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, so we are now going to do the second part of our speed racing. It's going to be drag race. And Ignas chose the Mercedes, right? Easy choice. Easy choice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so Z will drive uh, BMW. And this uh, portion of our show is presented by BetSafe. So we want to make uh, things a little bit more interesting and let's have a bet. If you win, we will do some kind of physical drill. No, I want to sprint like this drag race, like down to the cones. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. So you can't lose then, Z. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so if, if you win, we run on foot yes. to the to Cone. the finish line now if z wins mm -hmm. we want to get to after you sign your next contract we want to get two tickets to your game and the arena tour okay done done, done deal good stuff all right so let's let's hey let's z get it done. this is big 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 opportunity for us let's go <laughs> kick okay. some ass let's all go. right good luck z oh okay start the engines presented by betsafe Ready? Go! Shidrio, kur mūsų NBA bilietai? Kur mūsų NBA bilietai? Kura laimėtas, dragas. Ir aš dabar šitą atstumą turėsiu bėgti. Negerai. Liūdna labai nemėgstu pralaimėti, bet yra kaip turia prieš tokį mersą. Drago profesionalas dalyvavęs eiliai Drago rungtynių ir laimėjęs daugybę Drago prizų. I don't want to hear anything about a false start either, huh? No, it was all fair and square. I'm just so upset that I'm gonna have to run this whole thing. Yeah, that's okay. It's unbelievable. I'll still give you the tickets in the tour. Net ne panašu, tai buvo net ne panašu. The professional drag racer. What? What the hell? What? What was that? That was very bad. Very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, That's get right. out of the car. Let's run the course. Uh, yes, let's go. I oh. wanted this is my favorite part. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. That's a pretty, pretty long race, huh? On your marks, get set. Go! Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, then this finish. Yes. Zien menogas. Tu katik mum praradai. Du bilietus, tūra po arena, ir sveikata. Ir sveikata. So now... How do you feel? You done? Not good, not good. Most exercise you've done in a while. Yes, absolutely. That's funny. Oh, man. That was a fun race, though. The tickets flew away. Or you said you still got it? No, you guys got the tickets. Done. All right. Oh, this is an insane car, yo. Have you ever driven electric? This specifically, no, I have not. But any other? Tesla. I've driven a Tesla so before. So what's, what's your opinion on electric um, cars? Opinion on it, I think it's great for the environment. That's my opinion on it. But I, I think they're good cars too. And then obviously they don't have the sound of, of the no, proper car, I like right? See, I'm, I personally like a proper car. Right, okay. So, uh, do you know what time to beat? 20 seconds. All right, you're up for it. We'll see. Okay. It won't be easy. Stay in the groove. Stay in the groove. Watch the oversteer. Watch All right, ready? Okay, Galway. Padarys kažką įdomaus. Man po tik lėtės, nes lėtės negu visų, ane? Gal negu vyko, tai. Jo, 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 jo. Okay. Through the cones. Okay, dai, 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 prieki, prieki, let's go, let's go, finish line, finish line. Ir mes turim 25, kablelis, vienas, keturi. Not bad. What we get? Not bad, 25. 25. I'll take that. Yeah, it's really good. Not bad at that. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Solid. 
Good enough Showed for me. Up. Yes, sir. Šiandien vėl kai visada smagiai, kai visada veikiam labai panašius dalykus. Bet vienas laidos epizodas buvo šiek tiek kitoks ir išskirtinis, kadangi ir svečią turim išskirtinį. Tai NBA žaidėjas, čia yra ne Juokas. Tai noriu padėkoti mūsų laidos partneriams. Tai yra RSV Motors, kurie, kaip ir sakiau, padės jums visada be problemų visai Europoje parduoti automobilį. Tai yra BetSafe. Tai yra serijas elektromobiliai ir aišku, tai yra Lietuvos krepšinio federacija. So, what was your impression today? How did we do? How did you do? I think I did well today. You know, I performed well. I beat him in the drag race, so that was a good moment. I guess, you know, I didn't perform as well as I wanted to with the electric car, but that's okay, we'll get better. I had a good time today. It was a lot of fun. It was fun to have you all three weeks with the national team and it was fun to have you here, so it's good. And then, you know, Hopefully it's not too long before you you back, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, good sir. Stuff. Cool. All so right, guys. thank you all for watching and stay in touch. Subscribe to Lithuanian Basketball YouTube channel and um, see you soon. <laughs>